This video is going to show how to install an end mail crimp on style coaxial connector onto 0.59 inch diameter coax such as LMR 600 or G217. Now of course you want to remember to slip the ferrule on the end of the coax before you start cutting and trimming. The installation guide includes a coax stripping guide which is spelled out here and then shown in this diagram here. I'm going to strip back the main insulation just a little over a half an inch, 0.55 inches, and then strip back the shielding uh, just under a quarter of an inch or 0.225 inches, and then leave, uh, then strip back to the center conductor about 0.16 inches or about four millimeters. Now, of course, this can be done with an exacto knife or a razor knife such as this. When stripping the coax for crimp-on style connectors where you don't want to disturb the braid too much. I often find it easier to kind of work backwards. Uh, whereas I, I'll just kind of arbitrarily pick a spot and cut through with the knife all the way down to the center coax. And then measure back how much bare insulation we want and then cut through the outer jacket and the braid at the same time uh, to clear that all out. Next, all we're going to do is trim back from here the right amount to expose the braid. And this makes it a lot easier to keep the braid in good shape uh, when you're doing uh, the stripping for this. By following this reverse method and cutting all the way through first and then down to through the shield second and then just stripping off the outer jacket, we can keep the braid in very good shape. Now all we need to do is just measure off this 0.16 and cleanly cut off the center contact. Now with a little bit of flux applied to the inside of the solder cup, we apply heat to the bottom of the cup and then allow that heat to penetrate in and heat up both the center conductor and the center pin to the point where the solder will melt through the small inspection hole. It will just take a very small amount of solder to solder this. There's not much of a gap to fill up. And there it goes. You need to use an iron that has got fairly good thermal mass or really good thermal recovery like this unit that I'm using. Now's the time to check that you've got the braid all flared out so that you can insert the connector uh, such that all the braid goes on the outside. Also make sure that you don't have any solder on this inner diameter of the center pin to prevent it from sliding all the way into the connector and you can bottom it out as far as it'll go. Next we slide the ferrule in place over the top of it and we use the matching crimping tool to crimp the ferrule. I'm keeping pressure on the connector onto the top of the table so that when I position the crimping tool uh, the connector doesn't back itself off. With the tool in place we execute the crimp two-handed job. And there we have the completed end connector on the 0.59 inch coax RG217 or LMR 600.